what? That's insane to me. No singer, no problem. If you're a producer and you're looking for vocals for your track, I found an app that you might want to check out. It's called acestudio.ai. It's an AI singing voice generator, which does a ton of different things. Enough of me talking, let's just hop right into it. And let me show you how it works and how beneficial it can be to your productions. This is a beat that I started that I want to hear some vocals on. It has that vibe to it. I want some singing vocals on. So just to give it a quick listen and then we'll export it. Right, so I have the desktop app for a studio very simple to understand and use you got your voices over here You got your playlist just like any other DAW And then this is gonna be where you select your notes and sort of a piano roll pops up down here But first let me drag in the beat and I mark down the key and the BPM here We're just gonna switch that BPM to match the session which is 148 and then I know that the key of this beat is in D minor So whatever we do to vocals, we got to make sure that it's in the scale of D minor This is where your singer track is gonna live and you can just simply click and drag any one of these voices right onto that to switch it up you could double click and it'll drop another one in or you can click and drag to replace the one that you want and then you double click and enter a clip in here and you can adjust the length of it so you want it to be an eight bar loop then inside that a little piano roll pops up down here just like any other DAW make sure you choose your scale it's gonna make it super simple for you so like I said we're in D minor now it's gonna tell you the notes that are in your scale if you're looking for a more simplified view you can fold it and you can see here that it's only gonna give you the notes that are in the scale of D minor so to just get started you double click in a note or you can go to the pencil tool stretch out how long you want that note to be and then this little text window pops up where you can type in your lyrics so let's say we want the first word to be I hit enter so I have I can feel you breathing but I want to split that to where the word breathing splits into two notes. So I want to go like breathing. So you can go to the cut tool and then we'll cut it right there. So it's that one whole word and then go back to the pencil or the regular mouse tool. Bring the second half of that down to the next note. All right. So <laughs> this is going to be fire. I can't like I didn't think it was going to be this good, but it's so dope. I can feel you breathing. Woo! What? <laughs> What? All right, I gotta keep going. I wanna have another note come in right here. I don't know what the word is gonna be yet, but the word breathing, I want the second half of it. So when it goes down to this second note right here, I wanna have it extend a little bit longer. And this thing is just so natural. I just can't believe how natural this sounds. I just extended it and it has a natural vibrato and an ending to it. So there's nothing that feels like super crazy, like AI about it, even though it is AI. Like it doesn't sound so robotic as much as you would think. I mean, just check this out. All I did was extend this note and listen to how natural it sounds. Oh, What? That's insane to me. Like, I don't understand like how good the technology can be to the point where it sounds that good. And then if you go to the vibrato, you click on that breathing, you could see that it just naturally does this dip right here into that next note. It just sounds so crazy natural. You click on that vibrato tab and you can adjust and fine tune the vibrato however you want, just by going up and down here, moving it left to right. I'm gonna keep it as is because that just sounds so good to me right there. Let's just bring it back to the top of this. I haven't even chose a word for this, but it just sounds so dope. It's like gotta be down or something like like down, 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 down. all right so i think i have like a nice basic just loop kind of vocal here let's give it a listen from the top could trim that up copy and paste that over to the point where it just kind of it loops in this case this is kind of like what i'm looking for like a looping sort of vocal maybe to make a hook out of essentially and then maybe have somebody get on the verse it's crazy so far i haven't even gotten to any of these other things you could use a pitch brush a fixed brush a pitch eraser obviously the vibrato that's self-explanatory i got into that a little bit that's an awesome tool to make things sound super super natural and then you have a modulation tab as well like how much pitch goes like up and down in between notes that also makes it sound 
sound super natural. If anything's too flat in there, it's going to sound super robotic if it's so flat. So that modulation helps create a little bit more humanization and get that real feel out of it, even though it's AI, which is fire. They like thought of everything with this piano roll and all these features in here. You can also add some breathiness, some airiness, a falsetto, add some tension, adding some energy and format. So let's say each one of these lines represents a different word and lyric that you dropped in there. As you can see, like that's my eye, that's can, that's feel, that's you breathing and how long breathing gets held out. If you wanted to add some format, do it to the word breathing. You want it to go up format. <laughs> It just adds like a different sort of artifact onto that vocal. If you double click on the singer track right here, you can see we have a voice mix. You got some timber where you can adjust some levels. You can even blend voices. So if you want to add another layer of vocals on top of that, just click the plus button and add another layer of vocals with another AI voice in this giant list of voices. Now to finish this off, I'm going to take this vocal out of Ace Studio and drop it into FL Studio. That way I can just finish the beat and really just go in on those vocals, whether I want to chop things up, change the pitch and do anything else to it. So to easily export that, you can hit the export button right here, or you can go to file and export audio, but you can also get the MIDI. For now, I'm just going to export the audio. Just make sure that we solo the vocal master export range loop channels mono. It's a wave and everything is good as is hit export straight into FL. And there's our vocal. I'm going to drop it into a mixer track. Throw my vocal chain on it, get some compression going and some dynamics. Then I got my delay sends over here and my reverb send. I'm going to give it some reverb and give it some delay. I can feel you breathing down on me. Hey, I'm going to copy paste that down, make it unique as sample. I'm going to try pitching this down a full octave. I can feel you breathing down on me. Hey. That sounds so dope. If you want to try out Ace Studio for yourself, click the link down in the description below. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.